John 15. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to start at uh, this book of St. John 15. I'm going to start at verse 8. All right, the point of, is that I want to make is in verse 9. All right, this book of St. John 15 and verse 8. And it reads, Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciple. All right. Verse 9, as the Father have loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. All right. So what, what's that talking about? All right. Is that talking about the love of, 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 of a care bear or something? Hugs and kisses and all type of, uh, of uh, physical, affectionate love? No. All right. Let's read it again. Isaiah Salah, uh, St. John 15 and 9. As the Father have loved me, and this is how was I speaking, so have I loved you, all right? And he was talking to the disciples, all right? Which which is, we're, we're back. All of us are back, all right, in the reincarnation, all right? And these are the, he, he, he's talking to the hopeful elect, all right, that's woken up with this awe, okay, right now, that can understand this truth. Continue ye in my love, all right? And that's, those are the, the brothers who woke up with, and got this awe, all right? And woke up with the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Woke up with woke up being able to accept his truth and continue. All right, in 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 the, in the works. All right of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Spearheaded by his son. Spearheaded by his son Yahweh Shah. All right. I'm gonna read it again. Saint John 15 and 9. As the Father have loved me. All right. So as as the Most High. All right. Has has loved Yahweh Shah. All right. Gave him knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right of himself. All right. All power, okay, up under his feet, all right? So have I loved you. So have Yahweh Shah, all right? Love his elect. Continue ye in my love, all right? And, and that's what we have done, man, all right? So this love right here, you wacky-tacky Christians, all right? It's the love of the Most High, all right? Like the scripture said, your ways are not my ways, all right? Your thoughts are not my thoughts, all right? He's in he's in heaven places, man. We're upon the earth, man. All right. He he he's the ruler over the over the uh, celestial world and the terrestrial world. All right, and we're we're just living in the terrestrial world. All right, and that's why Christianity give you this prosperity doctrine, man. All right, they give you this prosperity doctrine, saying that hey, um, once you become a Christian, man, everything's gonna be all right, man. All right. Or uh, uh, the Lord love you, and everything's gonna be good. No, man. Let's get uh, let's get the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve, and uh, boom, first verse six. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasten. All right. So that's total opposite of this Christianity doctrine, man. All right. And scourgeth every son whom he receives receiveth. See that. So that's the opposite of what Christianity teaches you, man. He Christianity teaches you once you quote unquote join the church, everything's gonna go your way. All right. You're gonna get fat bank, big houses, okay, that prosperity doctrine, okay, that that plantation prosperity doctrine that, that our people, all right, are so drunk on, man. That that's some that's some strong a strong drink that our people are drunk on. mainly our people, all right. That the Lord just love everybody, and when you come to him, he's just going to show you all love, man. But the scripture speaks, Hebrews 12 and 6, for whom the Lord loveth, for whom the Lord give this knowledge to, he chasten and scourgeth every son whom he receive. See? So the most I receive you, and, and, that, and that's and that's a, a measuring stick right there. All right? That's how you can tell who's who, man, who's a man of the Lord and who's not. And you wacky, techy Christians... Hey, that throws you out of the picture, man. This scripture throws you out of the picture, man. That whole Christianity doctrine. All right. This is uh, the book of St. John, chapter 14 and 27. And I'm bringing this scripture out to just give an example that, hey, the Most High does things total, total opposite of a human being, man. He created the humans and he created the humans' ways, man. All right. So he's on a whole nother frequency. All right. The creator... When you create something, you're on a whole nother frequency, all right, than the thing that you created, okay? So you think the thing that's that's been created is on the frequency of 
the th- of, of of the of the being or the one that created it. All right, this is the book of St. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave you with. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. See, not as the world giveth. All right? So it's a different, man, when it comes to this love thing in these scriptures, man. And it, it, it's a difference, all right, when these wacky-tacky Christians, all right, say uh, off their vain opinion, okay, that the most high is all love, but never go into the scriptures, man. All right? If you go into the scripture, the scripture speaks a difference, man. All right. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Okay. Or gave unto you. Salah. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. All right. Let not your mind be troubled, neither let it be afraid, man. All right. Because this 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 peace is is is, is this uh uh um this truth, man. All right, which which is the kingdom, okay? But the point is, not as the world giveth, and that's concerning this love thing, man. It's it's not as the world perceived love, man. All right, the Most High is not as the world perceived the Most High, which is Christianity perceive it or teach it to love all. All right. So let's get uh let's get one last scripture. And um, I'll go right to the point that I want to make. This is the book of St. John, chapter 21, and uh, verse 17, and it reads, He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, loveth thou me? See, there go that, that love again. All right, and this, and this is Yahweh Shah asking, all right, Peter, do he love him? All right, was he asking Peter, uh, do you love me because you haven't hugged me all day long? No, all right. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, and this is the third time he asked him, Loveth thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. All right? So that's the love, man. Okay? The Most High loved the Son, all right? Which, which gave the Son all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of himself, and taught him all things, all right? And the son turned around and did it, all right, to the twelve, all right, and those who followed the twelve, all right. And we, being the hopeful elect, believe that we are those men in the reincarnation, man, all right. We woke up with the awe. We, we received the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, all right. And, and, we're, and we're loving uh, others, man. And, 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 that's, and, that, and we're keeping the commandments of Yahweh Shah. That's how we, we continue in the love, man, which is this knowledge. All right, preaching the coming of the kingdom, man, warning the people from the most high, which is not all love, man. Okay? So I'm going to read it one more time. St. John 21 and 17, he said unto him the third time, son of Simon, son of Jonas, loveth thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, loveth thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said unto him, feed my sheep. All right. And, and, and that's and that's a measuring stick on who's the true man of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And apparently we see that this wacky tacky Christian doctrine, all right, these people are not of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. And, and I pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. This, this was edifying, all right, to the brothers, all right. And, and you and you select few sisters, all right, who may be following the faith. Okay, the most high, all right, it's not all love, all right? And the love, all right, that, that the most high, uh, 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 through Yahweh Shai, all right, shows us, all right, is not that care about love that the world, or should I say Christianity, feeds the world, all right? It's this true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures, man, and going out and teaching these scriptures, man, following in the program of Yahweh, uh, of Yahweh Shai, man, all right? And the most high... Uh, uh, put the spirit upon his watchman to 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 show these people uh, the upcoming dangers. All right, that he that he's going to bring to this world, man, that we live in, and mainly to America, man. All right, and with that, I want to say, call halal. All right, Yahweh by Shem Shah. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well and teach well to the hopeful elect. 
that's continuously prophesying the destruction of America and bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall the one, all right, and death to America.